Hey, what's going on YouTube? TR Tech here, and I'm here to show you my restoration project for this 2007 Honda Civic Coupe. I've already added a few tasteful mods and upgrades, but it definitely needs a lot more work. But this is a quick overview so I can show you what it looks like before I actually finish the project. I have an unpainted lip kit on the front and on the sides. These are the stock rims, which I will be replacing. And the main reason that I'm restoring this is because the sunspots on the top. Now let us hop in and look at the interior upgrades. So the first thing I did in the car was actually put a Honda steering wheel cover, leather, and also I put a new badge over the existing factory badge. This was really simple and the way I got it not to move was actually I did a double sided velcro tape. Very simple to install, something I can do myself without needing any professional help. And the second most important thing I did was I put a new head unit in there, that's a 10.2 inch screen. And I also put a rear view mirror. This has tons of visibility, you can see how big it is. And next I put some seat covers in here, but they're not just ordinary seat covers. These are actually made by Viotech and they're actually heated and cooled. That's the controller for the passenger side. And this is the controller for the driver's seat. Well, let's go ahead and start the car up so you can get a good idea of how everything works. And this is actually the mileage of the car right here. About 160,000. But this is what it looked like when it's loading up. And again, this is a full Android head 10.2 inch screen. And this is a full Android rear view mirror. And right under the head unit, I actually use a triple outlet plug to hook everything up. And another great useful upgrade that I put in the car was a rear view camera. I have it hooked up to the head unit. And there it is. It looks especially good with the big screen. Now let me show you how the heated and cooled seats work. Again, I'm going to go to the driver's side controller, which can control both seats. So this is the cooled feature. And I can shut that off. And I can even turn the heat on. Really easy and simple controls to use. Uh, these controllers actually come out, you can put them on your air conditioning vents, you can place them anywhere, you can put it in your pocket because it's actually wireless. And now let's take a look at my rear view mirror. Again, this one clips right over the factory one. Really simple to install. It has a built-in navigation. It has a dash cam that spins 360 degrees. And I can download any app or game I want on it because again, it's full Android. You can turn the screen on and off so you're not distracted while you're driving. And even when it's on, you can even see the cars behind you and see the screen at the same time, making it safe and practical. So back to the head unit, this is where I keep all my movies and actually my music videos. So on long road trips, we can watch movies on the way there or on the way back. And all my movies are on here via USB. So that about sums it up for this video. I really hope you liked it. Uh, I hope this gives you some insight about some of the upgrades you can put in some of your old cars to make it more modern. But as always, thank you very much for watching. 
Um, if you like this video, make sure you do me a big favor and hit that like button down below for me and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And definitely stay tuned because I'll be posting all the progress on this car.